Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So far in our Figma course, we have covered setting up a social media post, some basic ways to export your work, and we've also broken down website designs and gone into some simple UI design in Figma. But today we're gonna to take a look at the best ways to export, share, and hand off your work and designs in Figma. So we're gonna go through a few of the different ways that you can do this, the normal export feature that's based on the bottom of the design panel on the right-hand side of the screen. And we're also gonna cover a quick way to copy and paste your designs to send to clients for approval and comments and feedback. So without further ado, let's hop straight into Figma and discuss the best ways to export your work. So here we are in Figma, and as you can see, I've just put together a really simple social media post for GoComment. Now, if you're not already aware, GoComment are the official sponsors of the channel and a really great product for developers and website designers. So if you are a developer and you're building on a website and you want to get feedback from your client or you work as part of a team and you want to be able to leave comments that contain files and sort of more rich messaging, then absolutely go and check out go comment if you've used the tool like figma before and you're familiar with the way you can leave comments on specific elements then you're already really familiar with go comment so go and check it out below it's a great way to improve your website uh, and to ensure that your designs are sort of matching your clients expectations but for now this is the social media post that we're going to use and we're going to get started with the most common way to export a post in figma so if you just come over quickly to the layers panel on the left you can kind of see the setup we've got so we've got a frame that contains our heading the image a logo and the circle so this is all contained within a frame and the reason this is important and is the frame when it contains all of the elements gives us a really easy area to export. So I'm just gonna copy this quickly and remove the frame and you can kind of see what we're doing with. So this looks awful, but you can kind of see why we need to contain things within the frame. If I try and select these four things and come down to the export section, you can see that there's four individual layers and you know, if we group them, there's another thing there, at least it's now one single layer, but it, it looks an absolute mess and it's not contained nicely. So that's why we use frames. Frames are a great way to contain our designs. And as I said before, if you've checked out the Figma series from the start, you should already be familiar with how frames work and why they're kind of preferable for design work. If not, go and check out the start of the series. I'll again make sure that the link is in the description for you. But yeah, so the most common way to export is using frames. What we want to do is make sure that the frame is selected. So two ways to do that. Where you can see the title of the frame here in the canvas, just make sure we select that. If you're still not sure, then check out the layer panel on the left and you can see here that we've made that selection on the frame. So with that frame selected, we're going to come down to the very bottom of the design panel and where you can see export. This is the most common place to to export your individual frames. So we're gonna to come to the right hand side and click this plus icon to create a new export. And as you can see, we're presented with several options and a nice big button. If you're happy just to export at the current size, and PNG, then you can go ahead, press this button and locate the area on your computer. You wanna save the file and click save. If not, there's a few settings that we can tweak. So the first box that we have here is the scale of the exported design. So one times means that the current dimensions, so we've got 1080 by 1350. You can see this here at the top of the design panel with your width and height. That means that if we've got it at one times, then this is the exact dimensions that we're gonna export at. So two times means that it will quite simply be double the size of the current frame. Uh, and this is quite important if you need to export work at a higher size than you currently have the design in. For example, printing billboards or massive displays. It can be really important to be able to specify the sizing uh, of that individual export. Another way to achieve this is by explicitly setting the width or the height of the exported file. So you can only set either the width or the height. You can only set along one edge, but if I just click this drop down, you can see at the bottom, we've got 512W and 512H. So what these both mean is the 512 is in pixels and the W refers to width and the H refers to height. So if I was to click 512W, what that means is when I click export, it's gonna export this frame at the scale of 512 pixels wide across the top. Okay, so the width of the post will be reduced down from 1080 to 512 pixels. You can do whatever number you want here as long as it's finished with H or W. So for example, if we knew we wanted to export this with that shorter length at the top being 3000 pixels, we can just type in 3000 W and that will now export at 3000 pixels wide. So that's a great way to control the scaling and that's the kind of purpose of this first box here. Next we've got suffix. Suffix is just something you can attach to identify the individual export and it will go at the end of the exported file's name. Export go comment review. If I export this file, the file name will be go comment review plus whatever we put inside this suffix box. So if I press space and put vera 
Mirror Bear 2. So that means like variant two. If you had like a bunch of variants of the same design, you can use this box to label each individual one so that you know which one it is. So you can just keep changing the suffix. And what this will now mean is if I click export go comment review, it will export the file with the name go comment review space var three. And then the last box that we have here is where we select the type of file that we want to export as. So PNG quite famously is known for transparency. So if you need to have some transparency in your design, i.e. you've got some elements that want to sit on the foreground, but then the background you want to see straight through, then PNG is a really great option for you. JPEG does not support transparency, but quite simply, we've got PNG, JPEG, SVG and PDF. And it's completely up to you which one of these you want to use. JPEG has some really great compression built into it, which means that if you are to export your work for say web design, then that's gonna help you make sure that your work isn't too heavy and that the file load speeds of your website are kind of minimalized as much as possible. The next one is SVG. Now this isn't really ideal for exporting social media posts. I think we can kind of argue between PNG and JPEG, but SVG means a scalable vector graphic. So if you've made something say like this logo, where if I zoom in, you can see that we've actually built the shape here in Figma. So as much as we zoom in, it's never going to lose quality because it's scalable. Because this is the logo and we've got this selected, it might make sense to export this as an SVG to use in projects where we can then select whatever size we'd like it to be. And nice and simply, it will always respond and scale. So there we go. There are your options for export settings on the design panel. And there is actually another way to achieve this. So let's say I've got multiple posts and let's say before I've added a suffix. So this is variant one and then this one can be variant two. I'm going to hit control and P to bring up the command palette and I'm going to type in export. And as you can see now, because I've set up these export settings down here on the design panel for both of these designs, they now appear within the export settings and you can export both of them at the same time. So if you've got a huge number of posts, just go through each one and set up the sort of export settings you'd like for each one. And then you can use the export tool to batch export lots of them at the same time. And you can see the settings here. So one times PNG, and then we've got all the rest of the export settings there too. So that's the most common way to export. But what about something else? What about a way to quickly share your work with a client just to sort of get some initial feedback or just to pass something over to someone for a little bit of a kind of commentary on the design, but without needing to export the actual final product? Well, I only really found this out recently in Figma, but if you right click your frame and come down to copy and paste as, you can actually press control shift and C or click this button here to copy your frame as a PNG. So straight to your clipboard. So if I press shift control and C, and then I move across somewhere else in the file, you can now see that I have that frame. Now it's not editable, this is a picture, but this is now effectively something that I could copy and paste into a conversation with my client and just say, here's what I've got in a really quick way, just to sort of you know, control shift C. Now I have that, as you can see at the bottom, copied as PNG. I've now got that in my clipboard to really quickly send off to a client uh, and get some initial feedback on. So really helpful if you're designing on the go and you wanna just get some quick feedback, but you don't wanna have to go through individual export settings nice quick way to share work. So there we go, that is how to export your work in Figma. We've got a quick way to copy and paste to share our work with clients, but not necessarily the best approach for your final export, but then we've got the more fine-tuned export settings on the design panel. And it's honestly completely up to you and what the design requires to choose which option to go for. If you've enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe, drop a comment below and let me know what you thought. If you've got any more questions as well, or if you're stuck on anything, then again, just drop a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But yeah, I appreciate this video it was probably a little bit basic for some people, but I get a lot of clients and a lot of designers come to me saying, hi, I'm not used to Figma. You know, where do I start with exporting something? And I think where you've got previous software, which, you know, file export or file save as is, is the kind of more common way to export something, then opening Figma can feel a bit alien to people. So I hope this has cleared things up. Thank you very much for watching.